Hey, I'm John from Ride Upstate, and today is week nine of my road to 90% acceptance rate. Let's look at the trips and get right into it. Okay, so the first trip here was in the evening. It was for $7.76 for 4.7 miles. It took about 16 minutes. I had done lift earlier this evening, which is why this was such a late start. All I got was the fare, $7.76. The next one was for $7.40 uh, for 3.2 miles, 9 minutes and 29 seconds. I did get a $1 tip, so thanks. Every dollar is appreciated. Um, so $6.40 for the fare and a dollar for the tip. Customer paid $10.94, so I actually got more than 50% of the fare. Up next, uh, 7.27 for seven miles, 7.7 .7 miles, 13 minutes and 41 seconds. Um, I think the reason I took this was because I wanted to get down into Albany where there were gonna be more rides. Uh, I don't remember how well that worked out. Uh, this was Wednesday evening, so uh, I, th I think I was gonna do some rides before I headed home, if I remember. Um, no tip for this one. Customer paid $18.54, so I got less than 50% of that fare. These are the ones we all like, $6.95, one mile, six minutes. Uh, the fare was $4.32. I got a consecutive trip bonus of $0.63 cents, uh, and $2 in surge, and the customer paid $10.97. So I got a little bit, almost uh, 65% of that fare. A canceled trip. Um, here's one for $18.93, again, Wednesday evening. Uh, this was for a five-mile trip. It did last nearly 30 minutes, though. I got a $6 tip for this one. Very much appreciated for this. Uh, this had multiple stops in it, if I recall correctly. Uh, $10.26 was a fare, a consecutive trip bonus of $106. Remember, I mentioned that that was going to go up to 10%, and it has. Um, I had two wait time stops on this one. Uh, I got $1.15 for one of those and $0.48 cents for another. Uh, even though this was a very frustrating trip for me because there were two stops in it and both of them um, were long stops. They were really too long. Um, it, it ended up pretty good in the long run. Uh, Twenty-six twenty-four was what the customer paid. So when you look at the fare of twelve ninety-four, I actually got less than fifty percent of what the customer paid. Four forty-six for one point eight miles, seven and a half minutes. Um, the fare was four oh two, and I got a consecutive trip bonus of forty-four cents. Nine sixty-eight for nine miles, fourteen minutes and nineteen seconds. And that's all I got was the fare. Customer paid $22. So I got well under 50% of this fare. $671 for one mile. Again, we like these. The fare was $489 and a surge of $125. Uh, and seven cents at the wait time. So the person didn't, didn't keep me out too long. The fare was $853. So I got a good portion of this particular fare. So 1080 for 8.8 .8 miles, 16 minutes and one second. Uh, no tip on this one. The fare was 982 and the consecutive trip bonus was 98 cents. And the customer paid 1898. So I did get over 50% of this fare. 446 for 1.1 miles. That's, you know, three minutes, very short little trip here. Uh, got a consecutive trip bonus on this as well. So 402 for the fare. 44 cents for the consecutive trip bonus. The fare was $10, so I got about 45% of uh, the fare. 867 for 2.7 miles. Um, fare was 513. I got a consecutive trip bonus of 79 cents and a surge of 275. Customer paid 1692. So when you look at the fare, just the fare itself uh, of 513. I got um, a third of what the customer paid in this particular instance. Despite the fact of getting getting a, a surge bonus, uh, I'm looking at the fare here of 513, and the customer paid 1692. So 
Uh, pretty slim pickings on that one. All right, so something's going weird with the app. I actually did 17 trips. I think if you count, that was 13. So uh, I don't know what happened. Something's weird here on the website, but I'll give you the overall details here, uh, like I mentioned. So for week nine, we're looking at 17 trips for $143. It only comes out to $841 per trip, not the greatest that I've done. Uh, six hours and 40 minutes on app, which comes out 21.43 an hour, um, with about 3.6 hours of utilization time. If you're looking at utilization time, it's $39 an hour. All right, so I wanna start breaking down the numbers a little bit more uh, than I have been in the past. So the total miles driven uh, was 160 miles. Uh, that, which comes out to 89 cents a mile. 70 of those miles were commuting miles. So they were miles that I was also commuting to work or from work. So the actual ride share miles was 110 miles. So it comes out to $1.30 per mile. Uh, 71 miles were on trip, which comes out to $2 a mile. Uh, I got six tips, which was a 35% tip rate. I got 13 consecutive trip bonuses for $8. Uh, my estimated fuel costs were 2.5 gallons of fuel uh, at 375 a gallon, so it was 968. So my consecutive trip bonuses almost paid for my fuel for the ride share. I started the week with a 67% acceptance rate and an 8% cancellation rate. I ended the week with a 71% acceptance rate and a 6% cancellation rate. So we jumped over the 70% marker this week. And I think when I went past 70% acceptance rate, that was when the consecutive trip bonus went up. I'm not 100% sure about that. Um, I wasn't really paying that close attention. And uh, we'll see, maybe later on, once I hit 90 and that acceptance rate drops down again uh, below 70%, it'll uh, drop down as well to 5%. So uh, the 10% consecutive trip rate, if you're able to do these shorter trips, um, you're going to make out pretty well. Because I think if once I kind of dial this in and and get the trips that I want, I'm going to be pretty close to paying for my fuel costs with, with the consecutive trip bonuses. So that'll be good. All right, so that was week nine of my road to a 90% acceptance rate. I'm John from Ride Upstate reminding you that just because you're in a small market doesn't mean you need to settle for small profits. Bye.